somebody checking in. So, uh, damn, I hope I can't hear an echo. I hope it ain't an echo in here. Anyways, so um, today we're going to talk about my beards. Uh, the story behind it, the, the fleshiness, the, the love, the bay. So we're going to uh, talk about this. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, why do you grow your beard? How long have you been growing your beard? Uh, like, what's up? Like, why you don't cut it? You know why, niggas? I'm about to tell you why. I'm about to tell you why I don't cut my shit. And uh, hopefully I don't get emotional doing this shit. But uh, so uh, I don't know. Just hopefully I don't get emotional. But uh, yeah, let's get into this so, video. So let's start back from when I was in high school. Uh, I always had facial hair. Like I always had the power to grow it. I just, I went to the barbershop every fucking week just to like cut it down i used to have like sideburns hairy, hairy ass sideburns at the age of 12 so i never didn't want to look old going into high school hell art middle school i always had a little bit here a little bit of this but i was like that shit just too much like i'm too young to be having all this facial hair so it was, it's all about I guess jeans. My dad call it good jeans. But, uh, it's very emotional. But, uh, so it was, um, he was like family to me. His name was Sean. Uh, he was a good guy. Um, used to always cut my hair. You know how you get that barber? Like, when you sit down in the chair, you know, he know exactly what you want. You don't have to tell him shit. He was that guy. He used to get me right all the time. And he had this nice beautiful ass beard i'm talking about couldn't tell this man shit he used to tell me like yo you know if you try to grow a beard i'm like i don't want no beard man i don't want no damn beard but i always admired his beard i was like damn that's a nice looking fucking beard and i was like fuck i can grow my shit out so i was like you know what because he it like i looked up to him and i was like i want I want that. I was um, getting out of high school. Um, I didn't care what people think. So I kind of grow the beard. And I was like trying it. So, you know, I had my little stages. I had a beard. And I was like cut it off because the shit looked ugly. And that went through my, like, my LeBron phase. You know how LeBron got that uh, that chin strap. So uh, I went to that stage. And, um, you know, I had Sean cut my hair for like since I was... Since I was 12, since I was young, because I had, like, all type of stages. I had, like, a mohawk. I had all, all of that. So, um, he, uh, one Saturday, I came up there. Um, he cut my hair real clean. I was like, all right, cool. You know, I tipped him. I was like, yo, I'm going to see you next week. Um, you know, after I got my, um, that following weekend, I ain't going to shine, because... I was still looking fresh, and for some odd reason, I wore all white. Man, I don't even like white, but the fact that I wore it was, like, strange to me. I had all white. Uh, I had silver on. Like, my mom was like, where you going? I was like, I'm just going to the movies. And I don't know why I had them all white. But, but you know, at this time, I was still working 9 to 5. So, uh, it was Monday, regular morning, regular shift. And my mom called me, and she was like, um, did you call Sean? See if Sean okay. I was like, what, what's wrong with Sean? I just seen Sean last week. And she was like, Corey crying because they said Sean died. And I was like, that's impossible because I just seen him last week. And I couldn't wrap my mind around it, so I started calling Sean and shit. And I was like... Um, his girlfriend answered the phone. So, I had, um, my bad, I keep stuttering because I'm not trying to, like, anyways, Sean, girlfriend answered the phone, and she was saying, like, hey, who is this? I was like, hey, I'm a good friend of Sean. And she was like, oh, well, I'm sorry to say you, Sean had passed away. And, like, like I said, he was, like, family to me, so... When he passed away, man, like, I don't cry when it comes to death, but, like, losing a loved one, that shit hurts, my nigga. Like, especially a person that, like, taught you shit, like, just knowledge. It was like, he was just there, good spirit, good vibes, all of that. And 
for him to just go, it was like, it was real sad. I didn't want nobody to cut my hair. I was, I tried doing it. It didn't look right at all. Uh, just, I got cold feet. I just, I couldn't even go to his barber shop unless somebody else cut my hair. Like, I, I just couldn't do it. Like, I, I didn't have any to do it. So, I was like, I don't want nobody to cut my hair. And... It's not happening. Like I'm, I'm not doing it. So, I just let it grow out. I just said fuck it. My mom was worried about me. My friends was worried because I, I like, I was just looking rough. Like I was looking like a hobo off the street. Okay, that's that's not a good. That's not a good term. Okay, my face was just looking really fucked up. Like it was really fucked up. Um, so. I just said, bro, I'm not, I'm not touching shit, cause the only person who was good at cutting my hair was, was Sean, and hey, fuck that, nigga. I had a, I had a line up, Chris, before this nigga left. I was like, I'm not going to where else. Uh, my life just been, it was tossing and turning. Me and my, uh, my good friend, we was. Going back and forth for shit. It was just like a lot of extra shit. I had like a head full of hair. So like, you know, she had my size cut. So my hair used to be like really long. And I used to have like a beard. So I couldn't maintain all that shit. I, I didn't know about hair. So I used to just be fucked up 24. Well, all right, I wouldn't say 24 7. But when a nigga be looking rough, I'll be looking fucked up. Um, so... I just decided one day to go back to um, another barber that I know, uh, and he had cut my sides off, and he was like, you grow a beard out. I was like, yeah. So I told him, don't touch my hairline, because, you know, barbers and hairlines, boy, it's like your worst enemy. You you can take it or leave it, but yeah. So that what this phase came from, me just cutting my sides off, and and I felt a lot better about a lot of shit. Some time passed. Of course, that barber that I had, I'm not going to give out no names. That'd be terrible. Uh, he started, you know, fucking up. So, uh, I had to go to somebody else. And I just kept trying. I wasn't, like, hopping around like a little hoe. But I kept trying to find a good barber. But I kept comparing them to Sean. And, I, and I, you can't do that. You can't compare what you had to something that you're trying to get. You, I, I don't know, you just can't do that. It's, it's, it's just, it, it wouldn't work out, my nigga. It just wouldn't fucking work out. Um, so, I think it was just all fucked up. I went to my homegirl's shop so she could wash my hair one day. Um, and it was this clean ass barber. He was, he was, he was a young guy, real clean, had a nice beard, real good energy. You can just tell when somebody got good energy. And, um, I was like, damn, remind me of Sean. But I never asked for his name at this time. I was just like, you look pretty cool. You look like goddamn, you know what you're doing in the chair. I like, might, might one day, might one day. And my homegirl was like, yo, you should got them let him cut your hair and shit. I was like, yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day. So basically what I did was, um, I hit the nigga up. Well, I hit my homegirl up. And I was like, yo, is that Barbara there? She was like, oh, you mean Sean? Yo, when I say my heart dropped, <laughs> she said, Sean. My nigga, they had the same fucking name. Like, he was just a younger virgin. <laughs> and he had a beard. And he was light-skinned, too. It was, I was like, wait, did you, his name Sean? I was like, yes, his name is Sean, man. Dog. <laughs> I was like, yo, this like life life is crazy like it, life is really crazy but yeah and shit Sean got me right Sean bless the nigga Sean got damn this a, this is probably like a few days old but you know Sean done got the nigga right yeah that's my story y'all so uh make sure you like subscribe comment uh let me know your thoughts on the video let me know you want more stories but uh with that being said i'll see y'all in the next video